Hi, Jim and I. Welcome to your August 2019 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. It's fun to, to revisit this deck. I use it regularly, but I haven't used it for a little bit. And I just love the art. It puts me in such a good mood. You know, especially since it's like pen and ink drawings. It's also a matte card, which means that it's not glossy. And I like, I like the feel of it. It's actually a good um, card stock. You know, sometimes it's it's a bummer. I had a deck where it was very thin, and you know, you don't even want to hold it in your hands because it just doesn't feel substantial. The heart of the matter in August for you is the Ace of Swords. By the way, um, please check my channel for your astrology reading for August, which will give a different perspective. For the, um, the tarot here, uh, you are swords, so this could mean like new beginnings in your life, Gemini. But this is a card of new beginnings that are coming from really kind of gaining clarity about something that may you may have been um, in the dark about or deluded about. Maybe this was your doing where you refused to see something that you should have really been looking at because it was very important and perhaps you felt like um, you didn't want to see something because it was very painful and yet you really needed to see it, you know, in order to really move on with your life. And now you might feel like, hey, I'm facing it and now I'm able to truly move on from something that I kind of allowed to stay in my life way too long. And it could be anything. I mean, even like an addiction. Sometimes people have an addiction and they are in denial about how much it's affecting their life and um, destroying them, their life. And when they finally come to terms with it, they're able to quit and they're able to, to experience a whole new way of being. And, and this is, with swords, we're talking about the mind and we're talking about the communication. So your mind may have clarity that it hasn't had for a long time. Or it could be like a relationship too. And in the past position, we have the Mother of Swords, which is connected to the Queen of... I mean, I said swords, I meant wands. Um, and this is the Queen of Wands. Um, this is connected to the sign of Sagittarius. And um, this might be something to do with a, uh, a work situation. Now, there's two possibilities, either you were in a position of authority and that felt like, wow, you know, I've gotten this promotion, I've gotten this, I've gotten that, but it really was creating too much stress on your life. Or this could be a boss who may have acted like they were so good, but maybe they weren't that good. And what I, and here's where it kind of like uh, is interesting because when, when they're teaching you about how to read tarot cards. One of the things that they say is you learn the actual meaning of the card and then you, you know, put your own spin on it. And this deck is not faithful to the Rider Waite deck. So it has its own imagery and some of it is kind of like, huh? You know what I mean? At least for me. And even the booklet that came along with it, it do doesn't really explain why they chose certain um, symbols for each card. But for some reason, when I saw that Mother of Wands and I saw the image that was presented of the snake, I thought about a snake. I thought about somebody who presented themselves maybe nice, especially if it was an older woman to you. You might have felt like she really was taking you under her wing and nurturing you, but you found out that she was actually chipping away at your self-esteem or something along those lines, like she ended up being kind of a snake. And um, and this could even be like a co-worker, especially if they are older than you, 
And so there's like, because mother, it the, the queen energy is usually somebody who is chronologically older than you, okay? Uh, and maybe it, it's your actual mother. If you have um, felt like you, maybe you haven't gotten along with your mother your whole life, but you were always kind of blaming yourself and she was blaming you for the problem and you've learned more about, you know, an example would be narcissism. And you, you're like, wait a second, now I, I'm, I'm starting to understand all of this crazy behavior is that it's coming from this place of the narcissistic personality, which is always trying to blame others for their behavior. And when you're a child and somebody, and you have a parent who blames you, of course you're going to think that you're guilty because parents are like gods. So it takes a long, long time uh, to really kind of come out of that, to snap out of that. And so with the Ace of Swords, you may be seeing the light about a destructive pattern with your own mother or maybe even a mother-in-law and that or, or you know if you're not married to your partner their mother you know has that connection with you and maybe they're acting maybe they're like a snake where they're really behind your back downing you to others um, they call that the narcissistic smear and a smear campaign and sometimes we don't know about this because people aren't telling us and then we find out finally somebody you know tells us and we are like uh shocked that this is going on the higher message is the ace of cups and this is so we have the ace of swords and the ace of cups and so there is something um um of a new type of emotion emotional energy, um, maybe a new relationship based upon, you know, trying to get away from what that Queen of Wands represents. So an example would be um, somebody who is, um, oh, you know, uh, here's something that is also possible with the Queen of Wands is that that is an aspect of you that you have gained in confidence. Uh, I really should have said that because I have a feeling that that might be more of the, the thing for you is that you have, Gemini, you have become more um, filled with self-esteem, confidence, and so you can look elsewhere for love based upon, you know, maybe you tolerated bad behavior. Again, this could be a partner, this could be, um, and even if this is a mother, if there was a mother-in-law involved, you would see that your partner is feeding into that mother-in-law's bad behavior because they're refusing to take your side. They're taking the their mother's side. Um, in In the job, with the job situation, you may be going in a different direction because you realize that somebody is not uh, treating you well on the job, is not appreciating your talents, and you want that connection. Or maybe it's even just the type of work that you're doing. The Ace of Cups would be working in a more creative environment or a, an environment that has a spiritual kind of... Um, connotation to the type of work you're doing or the type of people that are there. Um, perhaps there was too much uh, drama that you don't want to be a part of and some of it might have been uh, directed against you because they were, people were jealous. Who knows? People, it's amazing. Um, people may not like directly tell you or confront you about things, but they may resent you because they think that you're talented. They think you're smart or witty. You know, Gemini is an exceptional person um, in many cases. Very intelligent, but in a very entertaining sort of a way. And um, not everybody is like that. And I think on the job, Geminis do well because of their uh, ability to speak in a sophisticated manner. So it's great for any kind of work that you have to promote a company, like PR work, 
or advertising and things like that. So maybe you're like somebody who's on an advertising campaign and they're trying to, you know, they feel jealous or envious that you have the best ideas, you know. People will be like this when they don't know who they are. It's just so commonplace for others to kind of like feel resentment at somebody else's, you know, brilliance. And um, you may feel like you need to be around people who are at a higher spiritual level, who are capable of treating others with respect, if you feel like you haven't been respected. But the same thing with uh, a personal relationship. What crosses you is the Ace of Wands. So if, you know, uh, it's funny because this could be like um, a fire sign individual that you ha that you are... Um, you have a thing for, so maybe this is a Sagittarian, which is your opposite sign. The other fire signs are Aries and Leo, and you're compatible with fire energy. But maybe you can't start a relationship with them because, they, because they're not um, in town. Maybe they're like um, somebody who travels, or they, they're a student and they're in a different city or country. Um, Maybe they are still married. And, uh, you know, it's funny that, isn't it funny that I got three aces? And that, even like the number three, that is a number of expansion as well. So I feel like August is really a great time to start something. Um, if you're starting a business, perhaps there are some things that you have to do first, and that might be like the Ace of Wands, starting an entrepreneurial endeavor. Um, but perhaps there is, you still haven't quit your job, or something else is still standing in your way of really pursuing that. The advice is represented by the Daughter of um, Swords, which is corresponds to the Page of Swords. Um, this can be, for instance, with the Ace of Swords, the Daughter of Swords, can be a card of perhaps if you're in the workplace and you have found something out, maybe you found out a secret that somebody has been uh, trying to sabotage you, that you uh, document it because it will be needed in some kind of a legal matter. Um, the Daughter of Swords can indicate that you are perhaps um, starting a new relationship with a, um, a a fellow air sign. So that's you know with the when I got the Ace of Swords, that could be like kind of mirroring that or or um, seconding that notion of a new relationship with a fellow air sign. So this would be either another Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius individual. Um, you could be communicating a lot with this person. And, um, oh, wow, I didn't even notice when I was putting out this card that this was the outcome is a Wheel of Fortune, which is a card of, you know, having, the, having a good uh, lucky streak, you know, having a lucky streak, having, you know, being aligned um, with whatever is going on in your life and things working out in, on your behalf. So we have these aces, and then in addition, the page of swords can be like the beginnings of something new, and then the wheel of fortune. So this can really indicate that August is a banner month for you, Gemini, with a lot of new beginnings. And also with that touch of luck, being in the right place at the right time. So good for you. I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, Gemini. If you'd like a private reading, the link is below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Take care. Bye. <laughs>